Ah, uh, summertime. A time where the living's easy. Yeah. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. I'm very happy that you have decided to join me here today. If you are new here on this channel, I speak to finding our confidence in our own personal style that belongs to us, as well as that finding pieces and curating a wardrobe that we absolutely love so that we can have it for years and years to come. Along with that, little tidbits on my own personal style that is usually, usually edgy, chic, minimalist. If that sounds like something you would like to join in on, make sure to click the subscribe button as well as the little bell to get notified when I post my new episodes and join in all the fun, you know, all the silly Sammy fun. Also, just a little heads up, I have started a new vlog channel called Emily Wheatley Vlogs. Pretty straightforward. That is going to be sharing more of my minimalist lifestyle, my home decor, product reviews, and it's just gonna be a little bit more personal, a little bit more casual. All right, so why are we here today? We are speaking to style lessons to learn before summertime, especially if you want a chic style for summer. Uh, so I am somebody that loves an edgy, chic, minimalist style. That is pretty much my go-to style. Obviously, I sprinkle in all sorts of styles here and there, but that is kind of, yes, my go-to. So if you relate to that and you want to maintain that edgy, chic style for the summer, but aren't quite sure how to navigate that, because, you know, let's just be honest, it's, it's difficult in the summer because <laughs> It's bloody hot, not a whole lot to work with always. So I think people kind of get a little bit um, lost for options. So today's episode is speaking to lessons that I've learned over the last few years uh, that have helped to either contribute to my edgy style or have taken away from my edgy style. Again, as a little pre, you know, disclaimer, this is from my perspective. This is my opinion. This is my taste. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. These are ultimately just lessons that I've learned and you can kind of pick and choose which ones really work for you. I'd say all these lessons are great for maintaining uh, a sort of effortless chic style throughout the summer without having to kind of think about it, without having to go overboard, without having to buy new pieces. Um, it's just, a, you know, easy, easy lessons to learn. But make sure before we get started to give me that thumbs up, comment below and share this video with your friends so that they as well can learn these lessons to have an edgy chic summer. Okay, I think we should get started. Yes, yes I do. Lesson number one, standard shirt with a standard pair of shorts is boring. Yep, it's true. I'm sorry, it's true. So I think when you choose just a simple standard fitting t-shirt that doesn't really have any sort of drape or style or anything to it, and then pair that with just a very standard fitting pair of shorts, then yeah, it gets it gets boring real fast. Uh, don't get me wrong, I rocked this look many of times and still sometimes default back to it. Um, you know, it happens. So what you can do and little things you can change is you don't have to get rid of them. I just say, make little tweaks. Maybe it's that you add in a light blazer, like a light linen blazer, the super breathable. Maybe it's that you layer an open shirt over top, or maybe it's you change out that standard fitting t-shirt and uh, trade it for an oversized fitting t-shirt or maybe an oversized shirt uh, paired with the standard fitting shorts or vice versa. Maybe it's oversized shorts with like an oversized t-shirt just with a light little effortless tuck. So those are just easy little tweaks you can make to just elevate the look a little bit more, make it a little more chic, a little more unexpected, a little less conventional. Number two is sunburn goes with absolutely nothing. Nothing ruins chic style like bright red sunburn. Do we ever see Victoria Beckham rocking sunburn? No. Do we ever see Alexa Chong rocking sunburn? No. So how can you remedy this? Wear freaking sunscreen. I, I get it. Like I hate sunscreen. I absolutely hate sunscreen. 
But what I've kind of learned over time is just trying to find something that basically works for you, that's easy for you. You know, there's plenty of great sunscreens out there. You might have to invest a little bit, but it's well worth it. One, because you won't have sunburn. Yep, and ruin everything. Two, you're not gonna ruin your skin. It'll keep you safe. It'll keep you uh, less at risk. And three, less wrinkles. It'll keep your skin looking youthful for a lot longer. Other options is I wear a sun hat most of the time when I'm in the sun for long periods of time. I wear a big straw hat because not only does it give you sun protection, it also gives you an elevated chic style tweak. So yes, can't go wrong. So there you go. That's your PSA for today. Wear your sunscreen. Number three, oversized white shirts are a necessity. It doesn't necessarily have to be white. I know a lot of people don't like white shirts. You could do a black shirt, a navy shirt, you know, beige shirt, whatever color works for you. For me, I like white shirts just because I like the crisp, classic, clean chicness of it. Chicness? But the reason mainly why I think an oversized button-up shirt is a necessity is that it's just, it comes in handy. It's super diverse. You can do all sorts with it during the summertime, whether it's just going straight forward with wearing it as a, an oversized button-up shirt uh, with, you know, tucking it into some boyfriend shorts or some boyfriend jeans. Maybe it's just wearing it with some leggings or bike shorts, just keeping it, you know, simple and effortless. Maybe it's that you completely unbutton it all the way down and wear it as a sort of cover up at the beach with your swimsuit, looking all cute and effortless. Like you just woke up like this. Lesson number four, sandals can ruin everything. Okay, so obviously sandals are a necessity in the summertime, clearly. But I'm more saying that you just need to be mindful of the sandals that you're choosing. So as an example, let's say you choose a pair of gold strappy gladiator sandals that have, you know, little seashells on them. Okay, cute. A lot going on. Not gonna lie. But hey, Nothing wrong with that. But then let's say you pair that with an outfit that is got a bunch of patterns going on, a bunch of different jewelry, then yeah, it's going to be too distracting. People's eyes are not gonna know where to land. But if you do choose to opt for the more sort of jazzier, detail-oriented sandal, then what I would say is just go basic on top, on the outfit on top. So maybe it's that you wear a real chic, all black look and just have the sandal be kind of your pop of detail or your pop of color. Or if you're gonna wear the more, you know, detail oriented outfit, you know, with a bunch of patterns or a bunch of accessories, then maybe ground that outfit with a more basic minimalist sleek pair of sandals. This way, they're not distracting from each other. They're not basically working against each other and people's eyes will kind of know where to go. Number five, all you need is a little black swimsuit. Do not get me wrong, there are some adorable swimsuits out there that have, you know, flashy prints or really bold colors for sure. And I find myself constantly being pulled in by the newest, hottest print for swimwear or the, you know, new bold color. But this is definitely a lesson that I've learned. A more bold or pattern filled swimsuit is something that's going to be ever changing, whether it's ever changing trend wise or style style wise. Um, but it could just be too that your preference or your tastes change as well. And I think it's a lot easier for you to kind of fall out of love with those type of prints because they are a little bit more uh, specific. So that's kind of one reason is I just don't think you get that longevity out of those. Um, along with that, I don't think there is chic. I think chic is when things are simple and effortless. To me, when I see somebody in a black swimsuit, no matter who they are, it just looks clean, it looks classic, and you know has a little bit of edge. And um, yeah, you just you can't go wrong. Let me tell you about romance. Uh, bad day, but I'm still paying. Have you ever gave a gentleman a real chance? Girls always want them bad like Jackson. Send a jack, I mean, feeling fantastic. Tap in the dance flow like Morse code, but it's more so for the soul. Go to the so that's it. Those are my lessons to learn before your chic summer. Yes. Uh, so I definitely want to hear from you guys. Comment down below and let me know if you agree with some of these lessons that I've learned or if you're not gonna do any of them and you, you know, have your own thing going, cool. 
Um, I would love to hear from you guys. But you guys know what I want you to do if you did enjoy today's episode. Give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends, and subscribe for future weekly episodes and click the little bell to get notified when I post those new episodes. All right, my friends, I hope that you are having a lovely sun-filled day. You stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other, and we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye. Early white summer star. Look here, baby, I look fly. Yes. I ain't never been average. Coolest cat on the Atlas with a hat tip. Never catfish. Damn it, I look better in person. How does Dana hit the earth's surface? Girl, you know me better than that. Let's settle it now. You speak in my language, I know Rosetta.